You're told not to believe everything you hear, but if you don't believe this, you might end up not being able to hear. Headphones are almost a necessity these days, but they could be damaging your hearing and sooner than you think. News 12's Christy Etheridge investigates how daily earbud use is a budding problem. Loud music is not a new thing, but this culture of using headphones all day, every day is. Now doctors say this generation is in danger of losing their hearing a lot faster than normal. It's a way to get away. Oh, I want to get away. To unplug from your problems by plugging in to your favorite tune. I got one less, one less Every day, just about all day. I use them daily. Headphones have become a staple in our lives, but one doctor says it's time to open your eyes to what's happening to your ears. You're increasing your risk of long-term hearing damage. And we're not talking about when you're 80. Dr. James Kimbrough says you could experience permanent hearing loss by half that age. Let's say they're in their 20s. By the time they're 40, they may have considerable hearing loss. The guy right next to you on the bus or you pass in the street with his earbuds in where you can hear exactly what he's listening to will be deaf later on in life. For Trey Maxwell, sound is his job. One, two. He's the one who makes sure you can still hear the next day after going to a concert. We try to keep the volume to about 100 decibels, which is a forgivable level of measurement. According to OSHA standards, sound at 85 decibels or below is safe. The higher you go, the shorter you should be exposed. A lot of concert volume, especially in bigger arenas and whatnot, gets up to the 115 to 120 decibels, and literally a jet plane could fly 20 feet over your head and you would not hear it. Turn down for what? And Maxwell knows what kind of damage that can do to your ears, especially the guys up on stage. They're all deaf. If you couldn't hear that, he said they're all deaf and says that could be you if you don't watch your volume. Experts say most portable stereo music systems produce sound at 95 to 108 dB at level 4, reaching higher than 115 decibels by level 8. And teens admit they turn up. If I'm watching TV, uh, probably about medium, but if I'm listening to music, it's probably all the way up. That's the kind of usage that could turn the soundtrack of your life into something that sounds more like this. That ringing sound is called tinnitus. It's a possible side effect of intense noise exposure, but once you get it, it's like a song that never ends. There is no medication, there is no surgery that will correct long-term sensory neural hearing loss, and there's no cure for the ringing, the tinnitus. OSHA has standards for what level of noise is safe, but life doesn't always follow standards, and we tested it out. The sound of a gunshot hit 107.5 decibels. This concert at the Imperial Theater reached 106. But worst of all was the backpack blower, which hit a whopping 108.4 dB. The guy who runs that backpack blower for eight hours a day won't hear what he heard in the morning again until the next morning because it takes 12 to 14 hours for your ears to recover. Turn down for Luckily, this kind of volume you can control. And if you don't want to trade out those headphones for hearing aids, doctors say you should. When you think it's just right, turn it down a little. Now, if that doesn't make you want to turn down your music a little bit, this probably will. Dr. Kimbrough says most adequate hearing aids are going to cost three to $5,000 a pair. And he says most insurance policies do not cover hearing aids. I guess you're telling me if I'm cutting the grass, putting in earbuds and turning up the music where you can hear it is a bad <laughs> That idea. actually doesn't work because you'd have to turn it up higher than or louder than the lawnmower. Or the backpack blower. So you're doomed. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> but you know what, there is a little bit of good news here. You can start protecting your hearing early. You can buy headphones like this, which actually doesn't allow. I'm not sure allow, if I can get away with wearing those You know, this not, might but. not be your style, but, <laughs> but the concept works. It doesn't let the music come out louder than 85 decibels. Really? So there's mm -hmm. a limiter on some headphones. There now. is. We'll put that information on the website. For, Good idea. For and we're guilty at work too. All oh, of us we are all day, every day. I feel like I'm going to be one of those deaf people at 40. Thanks for the warning. Turn it down. Turn it down. Mm. And of course, we also. Yeah, here we are. Have these there they are. turned all the way up. As loud as they'll go. As loud as they'll go.